Hello and welcome to Analyzer Pro Shorts, the series where we show you bits and pieces of Analyzer Pro that should inspire you for your daily work as a traffic accident analyst. In previous videos, we have discussed the topic of putting in laser scan files or uh, 3D photogrammetry files um, to Analyzer or even like taking a picture or a map file directly. However, sometimes, especially for a bit more simple cases, you just want to work on like a quick drawn sketch. And today I would like to introduce you to our sketching tools that you can find mainly on the left hand side of the screen. So in essence, it's quite, it's fairly simple to use the different tools. For example, I am clicking here on that crossroad. It immediately draws me a crossroad. I can now change that uh, different exits. I can change the variables of it and so on and so on. Next, I might want to add, for example, some trees. So I'm placing some trees over here, I am probably adding some street lamps. Of course, this is just a rough and quick sketch. Um, maybe we do have an advertising pillar over here, or maybe even there is a person lying on the ground next to a bicycle. Uh, of course, there also could be in a construction trailer. So you can see there are loads of, of elements that uh, we, can, uh, we can use and uh, draw directly just with using a click. Furthermore, um, we can use our sample position. So for example, I'm now loading some kind of vehicle. Let's take this Alfa Romeo. And I Put a sample position of that car here. You can see immediately the DXF shape if you want it of course if you set the DXF and with that you can incredibly swiftly design your landscapes. Um, the cool thing about that is now that not only we have designed a landscape in 2D but also automatically we have designed a landscape in 3D. You can see in all the spaces or in all the, uh, all the parts we have designed, we also have the 3D equivalent here. And even if I modify something now, let's say I want to have a bigger tree here, I take it and make it bigger and you can see I immediately got a bigger tree. I could also draw a rectangle and say, you're not just a rectangle, you could be, for example, a house with a roof. I click on accept and I get a house. So the thing you need to remember is the 2D uh, surface um, is responsible and you design everything in 2D, but you automatically get your 3D design. It's as simple as that. You get amazing result in no time. And of course, you can combine all these things also with your laser scan file, with your 3D photogrammetry or with your, let's say, Google Maps image. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and have a great one. Bye bye.